Well, until now it was either termination or wait until the baby is born and, uh, and try and repair uh, the spine after, after birth. The problem with that sometimes may be that it is too late, there's too much damage and uh, very little you can do to repair. So that the advantage of doing the intrauterine repair is that you may actually prevent further damage, you stop the process of damage and uh, have better function long term. Well, fetal surgery for spina bifida has been around for quite a long time. In fact, there were people in the United States that started doing this in the 1990s. And then in about 2010, the sort of landmark study called the MOMS trial was published. It was a randomized controlled trial that showed definite benefit to doing fetal surgery. Now, the surgery that we did today is fetoscopic surgery, where we put very small ports into the uterus, very much like the laparoscopic surgery that people do. And so that's what we did today. And that has been done in our center and Texas Children's. We were the first site in the United States to start doing pedoscopic spina bifida repair. Simply put, spina bifida is failure of the spine uh, to close at the back and allows uh, the nerves of the baby to be exposed to the uh, amniotic fluid. That causes damage of the nerves and therefore uh, long-term problems of the baby afterwards. And uh, we believe that the technique that we use is one of the safest at this point in time. And I just have to say I was so incredibly impressed by the team here at, uh, at Morningside Medi Clinic. Everybody that has been involved has clearly been an expert and I think that uh, this has been one of the best experiences that we've had in an international venue.